Hello again. Finally out fishing again. Wow, that was way too long a time to wait. Um, out of a, I'm in a place that I, uh, first stop of the day, first stop of the trip, that I was a little concerned would be too shallow. Oh no, those are some big ones there. Um, to have any fish in them. It. Fish in it. Oh. Um, and it is pretty shallow here. But there are these little fish swimming around. If I can not catch every single solitary piece of plant over there, uh, I need to... There are some fish that are just kind of flitting around. They're very spooky, running all over the place, hiding in the... It's quite a current here for being three inches deep. Um, they are too spooky, I think, to have any shot at. But I don't really ever let anything like that slow me down. I just go ahead and, oh, no shot at all? I'm at it. Yeah, that's for me. Oh, there they go. They, they look like they could be mosquito fish, except they're hugging the bottom. They just don't have that mosquito fish. They don't, they don't have that Barton Fink feel, you know. So I'm giving them a shot here. Uh, they are so skittish, though. I don't think... Oh, there, there they go. Come over here. I was about to leave, but I see there's a little deep area here. Oh, no, that's not deep enough. Um, with... Definitely different species. Those were mosquito fish. Um, I got a good look at them over there. Little little ones up close, and that's what they were. But here it looks like some mollies. They are hugging the bottom. Oh yeah, they spooked, and they're doing a lot of. Oh, oh yeah, one. Oh, no, no. One snubbed me and then one uh, tried to get it, tried to get after it. But it's floating away from them. These might require a Tanago. Ah, yeah. I've got 22 on right now. It's just, oh, no, big enough to get this one. Which one? A mosquito fish! Yeah. Woohoo! Yay! Mosquito fish. Species one. He seems sleepy. That was for being so aggressive. He doesn't really seem into it anymore. We'll go. Species one. There, that didn't spook him. But, oh, oh, oh the mosquitoes are on it again. And that's mosquito number two. Nice. Oh, a little nicer looking. I'll take another, take a picture of this one. I mean, you really never know. Except, you always know if it's some mosquito. Alright, I'm not going to spend too much more time here. The thing is, if those are mollies, this 22 isn't going to hook them. Even if they do decide to bite in the next six or seven days. Which is about what it would take to get that average molly to bite. Although I am in the part of the state where I've got a couple of mollies that have taken a worm. Oh, 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 something just came out of the cover and, and I don't know, it's just mosquitoes now. Yep, there's another one, mosquito number three. But there is something larger that's in Back in the... There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, one of the big ones after it. Got it. Oh! Oh, I had him. Flipped, I mean, I, he, it flipped him a little. Look at those big daddies again. Got it, got it, got it, got it. No, 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 that's a little freaking mosquito again. This is number four. I think that might have been a big one. By big one, I mean one of these probable mollies. 
Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. What is it? Maybe just a big mosquito. No, it's just a big mosquito fish. Really? Okay. Well, the mollies are, are not biting. The ones that are biting, mosquito fish. Mm. Well, that's it for this. All right, uh, good little intro after I've gone to my second spot, buried the lead. But, uh, I was elected to bury the lead, not to read. Yeah, so that, that, that came out of my mouth just now. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to find it very, I try, I always try, especially when I'm in Florida, to get, try to hit 10 species. Uh, I'm going to do some freshwater and some saltwater fishing. Uh, so hopefully I can hit 10 species that way. But it's going to be very difficult to get 10 freshwater species because um, this is the only spot I'm going to be fishing that has any real chance of getting any um, native fish. Um, and I'm targeting metallic shiners with no bait. Um, yeah, great. So, uh, there, there might be some locals here. This looks, I mean, some natives. This looks pretty good for shiners. I'm in the worst spot, but I thought I'd try over these rocks just in case. Uh, it's going a little too fast. But I, there's some nice slow areas on both sides of this. Uh, I'm going to go get bait. And like Amora and I left it in the car and uh, give this a shot. All right, this potential native spot is right now a complete bust. I mean, how is there not at least a little spot of sunfish under that log right there? Um, it's the perfect environment, for, especially for shiners. Um, there's fast moving water and slow moving water uh, adjacent to each other, running in and out of each other. Um, it's, yeah, it's exactly what you would want, but it seems there's just nothing here. Um, I mean, I can see a good deal of this area, and there's, there's no, there's just no fish here. Uh, I mean, I can see into the water. Um, right, there's a nice, there's a, nah, a bed actually behind me. Nothing in it. Uh, looks like a big bass bed. Something that, you know, a lot of native micros would go and just use as shelter out of season and uh, out of spawn and uh, no, nobody, nothing there. This is just, uh, hopefully this is not indicative, but uh, wind is cold, of the bite I'm going to get today because uh, this looks so fishy and it's absolutely dead right now um and maybe and it's perfect perfect i mean perfect shiner habitat um because the bottom too is there's there's just rocks and uh, some fallen timber here and there it's just frustrating all right i'm gonna give a little more looking and likely talk to you at the next spot all right i have passed up i don't know how many spots five or six that have no water or no fish in them uh, here's one with a ton of mosquito fish, but also a few in there that are not mosquito fish. I'm going to go a little deeper. They are keeping tight to the cover. Oh, man. There it is. It made it. First time I've ever had a jewel fish. It was too big to go in this in the micro tank. Uh, really cool red um, tones throughout his uh, the front of the body, the back, and then the, the tail and the, uh, the margins on the dorsal and anal fins there. And then a, a little on the cheek. Not much spangling. Just really pretty fish. Um, definitely a PV of whichever. Uh, two spot 
uh, jewel sickly this is. Just nice. In hopes of averting another lost hook, I brought this depth up. Oh, no, that's going to be right in the mosquitoes, though. There's a whole other side to this place, so if this doesn't produce anything else very quickly, that's where I'm going. Oh, oh, something. Oh, it was one of those. Oh, my gosh, it was one of those that was hiding over there because I saw him after he hit it. He went right back over there. Again, I'm 100% positive they're little jewels. That was a pretty looking fish. <sighs> Holy crap, that was a nice looking fish. And he looked different, he looked skinny. And I just pulled two of them out. Both of them fell back in. That's some sort of stupidity, I think, on my part. I guess that's redundant. Whose part would it be on? Yours? This is a smaller one. Maybe a different species, maybe just a smaller jewel. But it's biting much differently. Oh, oh, there it goes, take a little... Oh, just a teeny tiny... Oh, look at that little thing! Look at that tiny little guy! Wow, yeah, that's a little one. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a jewel. Wow. I'm gonna get a picture of that in the tank because that's really unique. That's probably exactly the species that I just caught when it's smaller, but it looks cool. Yeah, it's definitely cool. Alright, check it out. Nice. Okay, the odds are that's the only species over here besides the mosquito. And I'll go check the other side in a second, but just on the off chance there's another species under here. Oh man. And mostly yeah most likely that was you know the the two that fell off were the the mating pair. Oh see I think my bait's a little too big now. And then one of the babies. There's another one yeah. Same species. I won't oh look at that I was just about to say I won't take a picture of this one but I mean I won't uh, put this one in the tank but dang it's nice tail out again. Oh, looks so nice. That's a beautiful fish. Yep, same, all three, and the two others that fell. So, time for the other side. Oh, just nice spangling all up on that face. And these are, uh, See some more really tiny fish that kind of look like bullheads to me. They're pitch black, although they don't have the bullhead head. It's really just the um, just a touch too shallow. Whatever that is is very small. I mean, it could be a something else. I mean, it's it's possible they're not the only exotic species down there. Again, it's possible they... Oh, this has got a lot more spots. Very pretty. Oh, look at those colors. Those yellows and oranges. They're so emblematic of this area. Everywhere you go, they've done genetic tests. Everywhere you go in Florida and find uh, something in the... Oh, that's got stripes all up and down. That's potentially something different. I doubt it, but... That sure is a beautiful fish. Just gorgeous. All right. And I am now convinced that that's the only thing. I'm gonna give the... One more shot. Or it might be a different kind of jewel fish. Well, different patterns. Well, there's pretty much the same thing. All right. Another nice one, though. Nice looking. Well, actually... Ugh! Oh. 
Okay. Thanks for the action. Thanks for the additional species. I think my next spot is the uh, big target for the day. So I will go find it. I rigged up the Tanago because I think we're going to have some serious micros here. I'm trying to be stealthy. Probably not doing a good job. Should I put that right there? Looks a little deep, uh, just a tad. And I bet it's not, I bet they're not going to be in this uh, pipe. I bet they're going to be in the pipe that's covered with shade. So I have checked this entire ditch out on this end here. There is not a fish in it. Again. Tell you what, man. Part of the state has been very rough on me. <laughs> very rough on me. Okay, I finally found a fish. It's tiny. It's hugging on the bottom. I think it's probably a molly. But there's no other mollies around it. I can't seem to get the depth right. Although it is right in front of me now. Actually, it does look, it does look like there's two of them. I'm going to put it between these... I was hoping it was a juvenile uh, firemouth, but I'm pretty sure it's either a juvie um, Jack Dempsey. If you can straighten up a little, he's just too big for the little tank, too little for the big tank. Or a uh, one of the sick uh, Texas um, strains. His head certainly looks like it. Um, could be a, a combo. Guys, I really hope this is a lifeless species. It probably isn't. But the markings look like a Texas. Uh, it's just... Um, all right, well, there he is in the tank. I'll take a few out of the tank, see what he looks like. All right, this is the second repeat spot of mine. Uh, this is where I caught my first, um, I think it was Mexican molly, as I'm saying it right? Um, Stardust molly, trade name. And my first male sailfin molly. But when I was here, there was a fish that I tried to get, I really wanted to get, never had a shot at because he was too fast and spooky for me. So they're all in the cover here, I guess. I need, just need to try to coax them out. I, other than seeing some you know, movement when I approached on the top of the water, I have seen zero fish so far here. It looks like my luck for today is going to continue down the same path. Uh, so I'll turn this off. I'll see if I can find some fish, or if I get any kind of knocks on on these blind drops, just finding holes to drop them. Oh man, all right, well, at least there are mosquito fish on this side. But none of them will bite, I don't understand. Oh. What is that, what is it? Hold on. He's looking at it, I don't know what that, that looks like a molly. He's looking at it. It's in his mouth, it's in his mouth. Is it, oh, oh. Is that a molly? Is that a, oh, it's like another one of those. Oh no, that's a platy fish. That's a, uh, oh, that's pretty. That's a, uh, like, uh, all right, let me put it in the tank and try to figure out what it is. I don't know if that's a, oh, interesting, that's pretty. That's pretty, this is the one I caught last year. But I think it's a different species. I think it's a variable platy. It's a neat little tail. Very cool, beautiful color. If it is it's the first male I've got, I don't think that's a gravid spot. Uh, so nice. So I, <laughs> nothing. 
not even a mosquito fish on the side where it caught fish last year. Came over to the dirty side and look who came to play. Uh, you know, the way today's going, I will take a repeat species any day of the week, including this day. Um, so I'm gonna have to say that's a, uh, a variable flatting and I'll check it out when I get home. There seems there's like a little pod of them. These are much smaller though. It's, uh, I don't know if they're gonna bite or not. And you can see them just looking at it, looking at it. I got the Tanago, so if it well, I'm guessing they're in some platies. But it could be a sword tail. Oh, that's a movement. Oh wait, that's I'm not even looking at the bait. Oh, ha! Look at that! Mickey, there's a Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse Club. Uh, <laughs> what, what do you what do you call it? Um, yeah, Mickey Mouse Potty. I've seen him in pet stores. I don't, I don't know which one it is though. All right, let me get him in the tank. Get my glasses on. Tell you that. Come on, that hurt. Right, I know that is a Mickey Mouse Potty. I just don't know. I can see the Mickey Mouse ears. I've seen them in pet stores. I just don't know if that's a southern, I'm guessing it's a southern platy and not a uh, uh, variable platy. I really can't. Yeah, yeah. Rely, oh, there he goes. Oh, yeah, there's a nice shot. Uh, but I'll rely on the picture. Is the Mickey Mouse, I can't tell if it's less faded or more faded in the water. But, uh, all right. Uh, so, yeah, uh, vote for pollution in the water, I guess, providing the fish. Hmm. Uh, also not a new species, but it may be species five for the day, or it might be just a repeat of what I just caught. Uh, either way, I've had it with this spot. <laughs> this is way too much time and effort for, again, just uh, pretty fish, though, really pretty. Beautiful. All right, last spot before I, I skipped another spot. Last spot before I hit some uh, salt water brackish. I think it's salt. Um, I broke off my uh, leader on the Tanago because I was walking, and the you know raucous bumping of a human walk is too much for a Tanago leader to take when it's hooked onto the uh, to an eye on the rod but I could not bear to have to try to retie it a third time um, once it got tangled up in the sink if it got tangled up in the sinker again um, because of the you know again the tectonic shock waves of walking so I, I'm holding out no hope uh, well, plus I can see everything here, and I don't see any fish. Could be some hanging underneath the, the um, overhangs, but don't like the odds. 